So, what do you want to do when you grow up? Maybe a doctor? You still may have to come and see me as a special root canal doctor. An actress? Flamingo dancing, yes. Let me go, let me come to Flamingo itself, though. Yes, that's it. Flap, flap. A photographer? Nice, very nice. Big smile, smile for the camera. A model? Or even a cowboy? Let Ace, like my hair, Tammy and the entire MDP crew help you find out. Join them at My Destiny Place for good music, movies, and much more on My Destiny Place, where your dreams come alive. And remember, you heard this breaking news here first with me, Jane the Journalist. That's it. Flap, flap, flap. Excellent. Woo-wee! That was cool. Electrifying. Gabe has a personality where he loves everybody. We are going to be on TV. Uh, I mean, you are going to be on TV. <laughs> yes, little darling, yes. Yeah. Brianna, we what? have one slight problem. That's right. Today we're gonna make a wrap. And the wrap is going to consist of. The green right now, you have a beautiful. <laughs> I like that. Oh, oh man. You know how easy that was? You're a genius. Give me a P. Here's your P. Here's your P. It's my destiny place where your dreams come alive. Give me a name. Here's your A. Here's your A. Coming up on my destiny place. What do you call wind in a jar? Help Alvin name his new business. And Santiago declares he's young, fly, and sage. All this and more, right now on My Destiny Place. There's a place you can go. It's very cool. Where you can grow. Everyone is here. So come on, come near. Everybody, I'm Ace. And I'm Tammy. Welcome to the most exciting place to be in the whole wide world. It's my destiny place. For sure. Today, our topic is one of my favorite words. Okay. What's one of your favorite words? I can't say. It's a secret. It's not a secret. We're supposed to tell. Okay. Come close. My favorite secret word is believe. Why are you whispering? It's not a secret. Listen for the word believe throughout the program. B-E-L-I-E-V-E. -E -E. Believe. Animal caregivers believe that it's important for all animals to have food and a good home. I'm Allison, I'm an animal caregiver. My name is Charlie, and I'm also an animal caregiver. But don't fall in. <laughs> don't fall we in. We have the best jobs in the world. What we get to do is I get to help feed and take care of lions, tigers, bears, monkeys, cougars, and, uh, tons of exotic wildlife. Tigers love water. Um, the only thing we got to make sure of it is while she's wet, uh, sometimes she tries to be mischievous and see who all she can get wet. So she'll start shaking, splashing, uh, just anything to make cause mayhem. These three, uh, these three girls here, we call them Charlie's Angels, and um, they come, hey baby girl, this is Sheila. This is my big girl. Uh, they come from a traveling circus. Even though they look sweet and look like they're having fun, they could easily turn and become a, a predator. But most of the time they're just big babies. I got totally hands on, that's how I learned how to do everything, was just being submerged into it. I just really feel connected to them and I've always loved animals ever since I was a little girl 
and I just always knew that I wanted to work with them. And so in school, I just learned about them as much as I could, watched things on TV, read books, and got into high school, realized I wanted to go to college and learn about animals, and then I came out here. Hey, buddy. Come on, guys. Good morning. Come on, Baloo. This is uh, Leo the lion, Shere Khan the tiger, and then Baloo the bear. They're all nine years old. They come to us when they were three months old apiece. And they all three come in together. And we just never have told them different. Hi, my friends. Good morning. Good morning. Hi, big Leo. Now, Leo, Leo likes to eat, obviously. He, he, he's the first to eat. He's still a little sleepy. This is Baloo. Good morning, Baloo. How are you, son? How are you, bud? Shere Khan in the pen, he's the rascal. He's the one that always gets in trouble. He's the one that Baloo has to scold ever so often because he just thinks he should be able to jump around and just do whatever he wants to do. And then Blue will get mad at him, and what Blue does is sits on him, just plops down and just holds him down. Makes him mad, mad, mad. Blue is a cinnamon-faced black bear. Um, he is a little large. They should only top out about 600 pounds, and he's probably closer to eight. Now, male lions, what they like to do the most is sleep. Leo will sleep about 18 hours a day. So actually, we're, when, he, when we first come up, he was yawning. And that's because he woke up and had to walk all the way from the clubhouse, all the way up here in the corner to greet us. So he'll probably take a nap here and then move on somewhere else to find him another sunny spot. Shere Khan, he's actually, he's, he's a little bit more of a loner. Because see, in the wild, tigers would be loner animals. They're solitary. And so he does actually hang out more to himself but Baloo's like his big brother. He comes up and loves on him, gets in a little bit of trouble, and then runs off. <laughs> They're a lot of fun. I mean, these guys here, uh, they have the best personalities out of any lions and tigers and bears I've ever worked with. Um, to my knowledge, it's the only place that uh, three top predators live together. Really, we could learn so much from them because they, they love each other unconditionally. And it don't matter that you look different than me or you act different than me. They just love each other. And they're, they're just their best friends. Animal caregivers have big responsibilities and big hearts filled with love. I'm growing up to do my best. I'm deciding now. It's all up to me. Believe in you. Tammy, do you know what this is? Of course, it's a ball. Do you know why it's called a ball? Because somebody said so. I mean, just like in the Bible when God told Adam to name all the animals. Exactly. Today, in our business news, Alvin has a big job and he needs your help. Hi, Uncle Alvin. Hi, Mia. Why are you staring at the empty glass jar? Well, well, it's not empty. It has wind on the inside of it. Is this your special product that will help my bubbles fly high in the sky? Why, yes it is. I am trying to come up with a name for this special product. A name that people will remember. A name that's catchy and tells the customers what it is. I know what you can call it. You do? Yes, peanut butter and jelly. I like peanut and jelly and could eat it all day. Hmm. Well, that's an interesting choice, but I'm afraid if we call it peanut butter and jelly, people will think they are buying peanut butter and jelly. It's not peanut butter and jelly. It's wind. Oh. We have to come up with a name that people will know what they are buying. I know, I know. What is it? Invisible wind. It's invisible because you can't see it. And there is wind in the jar. Invisible wind. That's good, good, good. We're getting closer. I like the idea of using the word wind in the name. It tells the customer what they are buying. 
How did you get the wind in the jar? That was easy. I used this fan, placed my jar in front of it, and caught it. I caught the wind. You caught it? Yes, I caught it. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? That's the Catch wind. That's the wind. I like it. This is a great name for the special product. Uh, you have any more peanut butter and jelly? I'm hungry. Catch the wind. It's a catchy name, don't you think? Next up is Kobe at the zoo. Kicking in with Kobe. I'm Kobe. Today we're at Zoo Atlanta to meet some four-legged friends. Tell us about the different animals in the petting zoo. Yes, I can. We have Nubian goats, which is one right here. Actually, this is Dembe. He's a Nubian goat. We have dwarf goats, which are smaller than Nubian goats by a large amount. We have boar goats as well, and we also have sheep. Most animals have teeth, and these guys, they have front teeth in the bottom. They don't have front teeth in the top. Tell me about the Cooney Cooney pig. That's a funny name, huh? Cooney Cooney means fat and round in their native Polynesian language, and, and if, you, if you've seen him walk by, he does look fat and round. Cooney Cooney. Cooney Cooney. Thank you. Thanks for kicking in with me. I'm Kobe. The petting zoo is my favorite. Stand by. Wait, what? We have breaking news. Let's go to Jane. I'm Jane, the journalist, live on the scene at the house of Johnny Choo Choo. Remember, you heard this breaking news first with me, Jane, the journalist. Jane, what's going on? Johnny Choo Choo's puppy is missing. Can't seem to find him anywhere. What does he look like? Is there a picture? He's black with brown eyes and was last seen playing in the backyard. If anyone has seen Johnny Choo Choo's puppy, please report it. Thank you, Jared. We'll be back. My favorite animal is a hamster. <coughs> Dolphin. <coughs> a puppy. <coughs> a cat. Meow. Lion. Roar! Young, fly, safe. ¿Qué pasa, mis amigos? In our video spotlight, P-Dub, formerly known as Pretty Willie, hits our charts with a single Young, Fly, and Saved, featuring Canton C.J. Jones and D. Stone. Jesus Christ. Wow. It's totally awesome. Small price to pay for the life that he cost him. Totally it's all him. I gotta defend this. God get all the glory and we get the benefit. I'm young, say, don't ever forget it, guy. Hooked up with the father and the flock came with it, so come try. You need to get on it and don't lie. I know that you want it, I'm on fire. And I gotta renew my young fly. Say that.
jumping through the alpine. You want the real? Well, let's go call in the tail and see your worst song. Young, fly, saved. You can be young, fly, saved at the same time. Like that video. Did you see that little boy? Rewind the tape. That's Jaden in his first music video. Great job, P-Dub, Ken C.J. Jones, and D. Stone. Now get your popcorn. It's movie time. Drop that tape! I'm Trinity, and this is my, my sister, Sabrina. And our, our movie's called In Search of the Little Girl Bear. I'm Dr. Daniels, and we're looking for the rare little girl bear. We will be going into these woods to look for her. Let's go. She's not here. Or here either. I know the little girl bear exists. I will find her. I know the little girl bear exists. I know it. I just know it. I know it. can kids are ordinary kids doing extraordinary things. My name is Ahmad Raglan and I am a yes I can kid. Try to send me if you want. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I am a comic book artist. I love to draw comics. From here to here, right? And this is how you figure it out. One, two, and one half. So I am eight years one, old now, and I have I been drawing you, since I was one, four. Two. I make all the characters up, and um, I draw other characters like the thing that's right there. My dad taught me about, showed me all the characters. He like he was a Marvel fan, so I was watching movies, and then I just pick up a piece of paper and draw. When I came into art school, I had drew this. It wasn't really that good. I, I didn't know what I was doing then. I was like seven years old when I did this. I just tried my best. This is a picture of a bad guy. He's charging a robot, and this is like two minutes later. He's on the news talking about robbing a bank. So, and my character's name is Zoom. So Zoom hears about it, and that's his shadow on watching the news. I made a character of myself. So when they make a movie of it, I'll be in it. And um, this is a picture of the bank. That's where he is. He's looking at it. He punch, He sees this like big lock, and he's punching into it to try to get the money. Zoom's like, hey, what you doing? And he's looking at him. Zoom punches him, and... His helmet falls off. I created Zoom all by myself. It wasn't that easy because I had to go through books looking for characters. Sometimes I had to, I messed up and then I changed and changed and changed until I finally found the right one. And um, that's pretty much it over here. He's amazing. Give me a P. Here's your P. Here's your P. Give me an R. Here's your I. Here's your R. Give me an A. Here's your A. Here's your A. 
Teach me and why. Here's your why. Here's your why. What does that spell? Pray. What does the spell? Pray. What does the spell? Pray. Pray. One more time. Pray. One more time. Up next, Miss Tammy. I'm here today at Harvest Rain Learning Academy. Today we're going to have some fun. Are you ready? Are you sure? Let's go in. Somebody in this class can take this cup of water and hold it in their hand and walk across the floor without spilling it on the car. I believe that somebody can do this. Who can do this? Let's try it. Shh. Can Roman do this? Can he do it? Yes. Does he have super boy powers? Huh? Can he do it? Okay. Do it, Cup with water in it. Like this. Hold the cup. Wait. Mmm. I'm going to put more water in it. Can he do it without spilling? Can you walk over to me without spilling that water? Wait, 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 wait. that you believe in yourself and believe that you can do anything and you can thank you for joining me and I'll see you next time thank you miss Tammy there's good news regarding Johnny Choo Choo's puppy earlier we reported that he was missing let's go to Jane I'm Jane the journalist Live on the scene at Johnny Choo Choo's house. Remember, you heard this breaking news first with me, Jane the Journalist. We're glad to report that Johnny Choo Choo located his puppy. Johnny Choo Choo's puppy was found sleeping under Johnny's bed. Animal Rescue Squad reported that when the puppy was playing, he got thirsty, ran back into the house for water, decided to stay, and took a nap under Johnny Choo Choo's bed. We're glad Johnny and his puppy have been reunited. Thanks, Jane. Now, here's Conversations with Mia. Do you believe in yourself? Do you believe you can do anything? Point yourself and repeat this after me. I believe in me. I believe in me. Guess what? I believe in you too. Thanks, Mia. 
Well, that's all the time we have for today. We believe that you're great and that greatness lives inside of you. See you next time on My Destiny Place, where your dreams come alive. Bye. Bye. And remember, you heard this breaking news here first with me, Jane the Journalist. That's it. Flap, flap, flap. Excellent. Ooh, that was cool. Electrifying. Gabe has a personality where he loves everybody. We are going to be on TV. Uh, I mean, you are going to be on TV. <laughs> yes, little darling, yes. Brianna, we what? have one slight problem. Why not? That's right. Today, we're going to make a wrap. And the wrap is going to consist of... The green right now, you have a beautiful... <laughs> I like that! Oh, man. See how easy that was? You're a genius. Give me a P. Here's your P. Here's your P. It's my destiny place where your dreams come alive. Give me a name.